are formulated not from here or here, but here. Because even in baseball, it's never too late to learn. They love how it's confident. We can ask you 730 Eastern, but it's not being done. Back on intentional talk with Rose and Casey, who's in for Millar and Sean, one of the teams to watch out for, perhaps in 2012. Those youngsters out in Kansas City, and right now we are joined by a video chat from their young left-handed reliever, Tim Collins from Hudson, Massachusetts. Where are you, buddy? At the gym? Yeah, at the gym. It's kind of my hangout for the offseason, so. I like, the, right. I like the mountain man beard you got going on, too, bro. That's outstanding. Oh, you got to get a winter coat going. <laughs> during the you got to keep it stylish during the season and get a winter coat going in the offseason. I like it. I like it. All right, do us a favor. Show us around a little bit. If, if you're going to at least, right. you know, bring us into the gym, what do we got working? Yeah, I'll try to get you in the gym, but I'll start you off with the question of the day. And this is kind of one of the big hits that we had the last few years is if you could have any superpower, would you rather be invisible or fly? And Ooh. there's been ridiculous debate whether you would fly or be invisible. So I figured that would only be appropriate for today. So what, what was what your you answer? Oh, I'd be invisible. <laughs> I'd, I'd, love, I'd rather fly. I want to fly. I want to be, I want to be the guy that flies around town real nice and can go anywhere I want to go. If I want to go out and see you, Rose, out there in L.A., I can do that. Look at that guy right oh. there. What's he, what did he pick, yeah. the guy that walked in? Uh, hey, Blake, what'd you pick? Invisible or fly? Come on, quickly. He's going to write it up there for you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got something to eat. You guys never need hats. This guy sells hats. Nice. We, I need a hat. If, tell him this is a timed show. Let's go, kid. Not oh, there you go. You yeah. Invisible. Yeah. Cool. Team USA jersey. Nice. I forgot this guy's uh, C-Shack. Got a C-Shack jersey. You uh -huh. guys know that guy, Kurt Schilling. Yeah, when was the last time he saw a gym? <laughs> yeah, what's your, La what's last Schilling? time he was in baseball. <laughs> no, he didn't, he didn't see it then either. He never saw yeah, it in baseball either. Yeah, you this. Oh, nice. You. Right there right. for a bit. Then okay. we got Magnuson. Oh, okay. Uh, we for years. Let's oh, see sweet. if this core reaches to the gym. I'd show you my jersey, but. Uh, oh, very cool. That's the cool. one we want. That's the one we want sure. to see, brother. Try to, try to reach into the gym. Hopefully, hopefully it goes. Whoa. All right. Go. Yeah, a little video tour. We're running out of time. You let me know. Oh, boy. All right. I don't, I don't want to see any shirtless guys lifting right now. That's not what I'm interested in. Hey, hey. You're good. Tim, do you sleep there at night, bro? Do you like Yeah, I got a cock in the back. <laughs> I got a cock in the back that they let me stay on if uh, it gets a little crazy at night. All right. Well, listen, listen Tim, we, we know that you grew up in the uh, in the Boston area. You were actually, believe it or not, a Kevin Millar fan. So what was it that you enjoyed most about Millar? Was it his speed on the bases, his defensive prowess, his uh, power to right field, or the fact that he just went about his business quietly? Um, all of the above. Uh, you know, he's a five-tool five -tool guy, right? <laughs> five tools. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, listen, hey, obviously you love you love Millar because he obviously was Mr. Red Sox, and he'll tell you all day long about that. But oh, yeah. your first time playing in Fenway, obviously, probably since you were 15 years old this year, what was that like playing there, coming in as a Royal? Uh, it, it was crazy. Uh, so I guess my first appearance there, when I was running out of the bullpen, it felt so awkward, it was unbelievable. Uh, it almost felt like everybody was real quiet, there was nobody there. Both teams weren't coming out of the dugout, and I wasn't sure if I should be there or not. And, I was like, <laughs> and you know, checked around, made sure I was supposed to be coming out of the bullpen at that time. But I mean, it was awesome, you know, to have my family there. It was hectic. You know, we were, good thing we were only there for four days. So, but it was obviously, you know, something that I dreamed of as a little kid. So it was very, very special for me. All right, you were a teenager back in 2003 and 2004. So was it more crushing when Aaron Boone walked you off in 03 or more satisfying when you finally won it in 04? Uh, more satisfying. Uh, just because, you know, for me, it's the people that have watched the Red Sox their whole life and have never seen them win. 
you know, so to finally see them win a World Series was was awesome. And I mean, even watching the the highlights from that year today, I still get chills watching it. It's it's awesome. Listen, I, I I'm a big workout guy. I'll, I'll crush a cheese steak here and there, maybe a large <laughs> fry during, at times. But hey, listen, you're at Cressy Performance, which obviously I, I, I a few years ago. Maybe you weren't as big as you are now, and it's translated to the diamond. Can you tell us about what that program has done for you as a baseball player? You know, it, the program helps me just go into spring training being as strong as I can. Um, you know, obviously I signed at 125, 130 pounds, and I've gone up as high as 175 pounds. So, you know, just the training program here, putting on weight, uh, it's just helped me, you know, get better and stay healthy throughout the whole season. So, you know, that, there's, you know, no better place for me to come in the offseason and train. So, you know, and on top of that, the atmosphere is it's unbelievable. All right, true or false, Tim, you have almost a 40-inch vertical leap. Uh, true. Back in the day. So, <laughs> so, so that means you, you could dunk a basketball? Uh, I actually have not tried to dunk a basketball, but I can jump and grab a ring. Okay, that, that's not bad at 5'7". So what's the one thing you can do for us right now? Can you do a, a standing vertical leap and so we can see, you know, how high you can jump? Let, let's see something real quickly. Let's see. <laughs> can you touch the ceiling? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've tried to touch my head on the ceiling. Before. <laughs> oh, here we go. taking us inside your off-season life, pal. We appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Tim. All right, coming up, Clayton Kershaw was a runaway winner for the Cy Young, but would you rather have him or the AL winner? And in honor of having interleague play every day starting in 2013, we're going to bust out the best of the NL against the AL in Kevin's highlights. All case, that means you get the star. Oh, I love it, baby. I love it. Oh, 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 look at that right there. You hit your head, Timmy. I love it. <laughs>